All right, welcome back. Today we're going to do a little shop tour slash blacksmith shop setup so you can see how I do things here at the shop. So I'll start in the exterior. We got a big sheet metal building that we work out of. Nice big bay door here. We got a two burner gas forge running at 5 psi or just about, just under. That's our main source of heat. Right now I'm heating up some hook planks. We've got two amble stations here. This is usually uh, for classes, so I teach a couple of times a week here at Brown County Forge. What I'm doing today is a little bit of class prep in addition to making those hooks. So we've got our heat source, we've got our amble, so our work area. We've got some additional lighting. The LEDs in the ceiling and then some spotlighting. We've got a bench with a vise. We've got some power tools, not necessary to get started. You don't need angle grinders and all that necessarily, but having some sort of vise is very helpful. And contrary to what purists might say, you don't need it to be a post vise. It can be a bench vise, works just as good. I've had thousands of people use these bench vices to do twists, uh, correct bins, all sorts of different things, um, in addition to my you know, 10,000 plus projects. So any sort of vice is good, just make sure that's anchored well to the bench. So we've got another workstation here with a bench grinder, makes things nice and easy. And then we've got a metal shear, manual metal shear, very helpful for doing cold work. And there are times when I don't want to fire up an angle grinder and add that danger into the process. So if I can cut something with that metal shear, that's great. It saves me a little bit of a headache. Okay, and we got our third station here with some fireproofing up against the wall. Nice open door, so we get that cross breeze. Good ventilation is important. You don't want to make yourself sick. We got the temperature gauge up top, so we can see what the temp is in the shop. And we always want to make sure that we have an eye on that. We're regulating fluids. So we got a water bottle here. And we got a drill press. So also not strictly necessary, but very helpful. So putting holes in things, hooks, bottle openers, all sorts of different things. And then we've got a wireframe shelf. We've got uh, spray paints, heater connections up top, a clock, stereo, odds and ends, hand saws, just about anything you can need, lots of stuff you don't, that I've collected over the years. Plenty of backup fuel over here. We got that separated from the flame source. And then we've got a cluttered table at this point, but it'll get cleaned up before class tomorrow uh, with another forge and some examples of past projects. And we got a fan there on the floor. And so that 360 degree view brings us back to the forge. We're nice and hot. So I'm gonna shut this off and get back to work. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, you might like this one too. Thanks.